Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film my September monthly spread in my Erin Condren Life Planner. I'm going to do a separate video for my notes pages. I thought that might be fun to show you how I set those up separately. But let's go ahead and get started with the monthly spread. I have a kit here by Nicole Hutch Designs. This is kit MK0110. I am in a PR member for her shop. I was just going to say affiliate, but I do have a discount code that I'll list below. So let me show you what comes with this monthly kit. You get all of your extra icons. Now you get two headers for the month. This one is a Monday to Sunday. This is Sunday to Saturday. I'm going to use this one. So this I'll just put to the side. So this page has your headers, your date dots, and some flags. And then your second page here has flags, labels, bill dues, and then a big sidebar sticker. So let's go ahead and get started. September is going to be a pretty busy month because we're going to be prepping for our vacation, which is in October, but we'll have a bunch of things we'll want to get ready for this month. So let's hope that I can get this on here correctly. Her paper is a matte paper. It is super easy to work with. So if you mess up, you don't have to worry about like it ripping the paper or anything like that. Perfect. So there's the top bar. And we'll do this side. I always like struggle with this one. Oh, I think I got that perfect. First try, too. Wow. Okay. So there we go with the top bars. That was super easy. I think what I'll do next is this big sidebar sticker as well. I like that she just gives you this checklist kind of side style, and you don't have to fuss with any of the... Um, like, some kits will come with different sidebar styles, but this one I like because it's simple. I'm trying to see where this lines up. It kind of overlaps with the lines a little bit. It's not perfect, but there we go. Perfect. So we've got the guts of the planner down. Let's do all of the date dots first. So we'll start on this side. I'm going to do this and then I'll come back and we'll fill in the rest of the spread. dots are done we are good to go i like that she includes these extra like asterisks so you can mark the days that are not in the month some shops will include like a strip of washi but this this kit doesn't come with that so let's by, start by using some of these flag stickers that come with the kit and we'll do paydays first because those are easy my paydays will be september 15th and september 30th my day off will be the 5th, which is Labor Day. So that will be a long weekend, which I am so looking forward to. And appointments? I don't know if I have any appointments in September. I do on the 18th in the morning, but we'll use a box to mark that. Actually, I do on the, I've got an appointment on the 24th. So I'll use some boxes to mark all of that uh, in my planner. So let's go ahead and put one bill due. I'm going to put the mortgage for uh, September 1st. Pretty much all the other bills we have, um, we pay, we have like auto pay for that one. And I guess we can put like on the second, just to like remind us is our national grid bill. That is for our gas and electric. That my husband takes care of, but those are like the only two I think that we like manually pay. Everything else is on auto pay. Just makes it easier. So we'll just use those two for that purpose. 
Now let's start marking up the different events in the calendar. So I have a couple birthdays this month and a few appointments I'm trying to find. So hopefully there's enough boxes for all of this because September we've got a lot going on. Uh, we can use these happy birthday stickers for that. So the 13th is my dad's birthday. My mom's is the 29th. My best friend's is the 12th. And another friend's is here as well. So lots of September birthdays. So we'll do that and get that over with. Vacation time, that's all gonna be in October and you'll see that in the upcoming spread. So let's start marking in appointments. So I'm just looking here. Wow, nothing that week. Okay, so on the 18th, actually I take that back. I should probably put the football games in first. I, I like to have those marked. And then we'll do the appointments because it'll just be like easier for my brain to think that way. So on the 11th, uh, I'm a Patriots fan, so that's why I put all this in my planner because we watch these every week. On the 11th, it is their opening game against Miami. So we'll use some of these maybe bigger boxes for that. And then I know I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put this here because I already know what this is. I have a coffee date with somebody. So we'll put that there. So like I said, the 11th is the Patriots in Miami. So that will be the first game of the season for us. Then the 18th, they are at Pittsburgh. For those of you who watch football, none of this matters, but we are big fall football fans. And then the 25th, they play versus Baltimore. So we'll use this box, I guess, for that. Actually, that's their first home game. It's not until the end of September. Not that it matters because we have Sunday ticket so we can watch any game and any network so those are the three games in September I need to flip the calendar over to the 20 actually let's I take that back let's do this side first on the 18th <clears throat> I have a meeting at in the evening I'm going to use this little label for that. So this is going to be a very busy Sunday. And then on the 19th, I also have a meeting in the evening. So I'm going to use one of these brown ones. So this one's going to go down here like that. Okay, so let's flip back to the 24th for a second. I'm getting my flu shot on the 24th. I made an appointment with my doctor's office because nobody wants to get the flu, especially right before they go on vacation. And that's at 10.15. That will be like the quickest appointment. I'll be in and out of that place within like 10 minutes. But I'll put it in the morning as a reminder. And I do have oh, nothing on the 25th. Okay, so the 26th, I also have a meeting. So let's maybe use one of these green ones. I'm going to use one of these smaller boxes for that. And that will put down here at the bottom. 
Perfect. I think that's gonna be it for the monthly spread. Now we do have these icons too that she gives us, which is really nice. Um, here's the thing that bothers me is she only gives four trash cans, but there's five weeks in September. So for us, we have trash every Thursday. Oh, there's these two here. I guess we could use, well, those kind of look like popcorn, but you could probably make those look like trash. So I'm gonna put these on each Thursday. And I'm gonna use this like popcorn one because unless she's got another one that looks like trash, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see, that's funny, there's like a car accident one. Uh, I don't see one in particular, so we'll just do that. I'll know that there's something on the 29th for trash. Um, do I wanna use any other of these for anything? Just thinking while well, I've got this up. I think we'll just kinda leave it for now. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good to get started. So friends, that is my September monthly spread. It is gonna be pretty busy, despite what it looks like. I am sure there are things that are gonna fill out on this calendar, definitely. Actually, I do have another meeting, I just remembered. I have one on the 6th. Because I saw it on my calendar and now I should probably mark that too. There's a Zoom call I have this night put this here there we go perfect so yeah that's gonna do it for September let me show you what's left so we have all of the icons I've got a few boxes left not too many and then these flags down here so this page I will toss and these I will keep for now thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you next time bye